systematic and scientific ways of caring for seedlings. Today, we are going to talk about this component of agriculture and focuses on proper ways of watering seedlings and cultivating soil. Our objectives for today are recognize the different systematic and scientific ways of caring for seedlings, give importance to trees and mother nature, and of course, water plants and cultivate soil properly. Integrations are English, spelling and visual media, science, parts of a plant and needs of a young plant, ESP, importance of trees. Now I hope you are ready for this game, for this topic that we have, proper ways of watering seedlings and cultivating soil. We are going to have a spelling bee. For this, this is what we are going to do. Group into 10, form a single line for each group, and on the cards that I am going to give you, or your teacher gives you, write the spelling of the word, one word per participant, and this will be scored. Let's begin with item number one. You have there at the top of the picture jumbled letters. You are going to arrange them so that you can get the correct spelling of the word. Then I have here at the bottom the clue of what this picture is. And that would be for the correct spelling of the word that I have given to you. So the clue is cultivating the soil in rows. What do you think? are the jumbled letters for? Correct! The answer is of bearing. Item number two. Look at the jumbled letters, the picture, and your clue is cultivating the soil towards the base of the plant and control the growth of weeds. What do you think are the jumbled letters for? Correct! The answer is healing up. Item number three. Look at the jumbled letters, the picture, and your clue is, this is anything added to the soil that helps the plants grow healthy. What do you think are the jumbled letters for? Correct. The correct answer is fertilizer. Item number four. Look at the jumbled letters, the picture, and your clue kind of soil that will turn porous when organic fertilizer is added. What do you think are the jumbled letters for? Correct! Humus! Item number 5. Jumbled letters are there, the picture is there, and of course, your clue. Water supply that is artificially produced from a deep well, dams, and river with the help of motors. What do you think are the jumbled letters for? The correct answer is irrigation. Yes, and this is an example of drip irrigation. This orange thing here waters the plants. So for our vocabulary bank for today, I wanted to read these words that we have encountered today. The first one, healing up healing up, of bearing, of bearing, irrigation, irrigation, fertilizer, fertilizer, humus, humus. Now I want you to think, how are these words related to each other? What component of TLE do these ideas belong? Yes, to sum it up, these words are connected to agriculture. Now I want you to take a look at this picture carefully. Then I want you to ask yourself, what is this thing? What are the parts of this baby plant? How did this baby plant grow? What happens after it grows? This is your seedling cycle and you should know about it. Don't you know that from the seed it sprouts, becomes a tree, bloom flowers, and bear fruits. From the fruit 
comes the seed and the cycle goes on again. Now look at this concept map and we can do it as a group activity. The question is how to take care of seedlings. Now I want you to complete the concept map with either words or drawings. Explain your work to the class through reporting. If I am going to do it my own way, then maybe I will answer it this way. Water the plant, apply fertilizer, cultivate the soil, and proper exposure to sunlight. Trees and fruit-bearing trees should be taken care of properly to assure best quality and results. There are different ways of watering the plants. These are natural, manual, and artificial. The soil should be cultivated for plants to grow healthy and fast. Some of the ways are of bearing and healing up. Fertilizers help in growing plants healthy, and there are two kinds. These are organic and inorganic. Now let us try to do this exercise. Color the heart green if the statement is true, red if it is false. You can use your notebook for this activity, depending on your teacher. Let's begin with number one. Organic fertilizer improves soil condition. Watering of plants can be done once a week. Cultivating the soil around the plants can help fast absorption of nutrients. Planting trees can help in producing oxygen. And proper cultivation, watering the plants and putting proper fertilizers help in producing quality seedlings. Now I guess you have finished. So, I want you to exchange your work so that we can check and see if you got it all right or you need to learn something more today. We have the first one, organic fertilizer improves soil condition. The correct answer is green. Watering of plants can be done once a week. The correct answer is red. Cultivating the soil around the plants can help fast absorption of nutrients. The correct answer is green. Planting trees can help in producing oxygen. The correct answer is green. Proper cultivation, watering the plants, and putting proper fertilizers help in producing quality seedlings. The correct answer is green. The only red thing here is watering of plants can be done once a week. Were actually that's quite a very very long interval for a young plant and our plants may die if we will just water them once a week at this juncture i would like to ask you a question why are trees important share your answer to the class before we are going to share our very own point of view we all know that trees are important to Mother Nature. Today, I am just going to share you three of the many reasons why we should be planting more trees. 1. To improve air quality. Trees help in cleaning our polluted air so we can breathe better. 2. Trees are a habitat to many other living creatures. They help in the ecosystem with the provision of food and shelter to various animals. And of course, Trees are environmental control and regulation. As trees absorb carbon dioxide and gives up oxygen, we need trees for our planet to survive. Now we finally came to this point. Here are the ways of carrying seedlings for orchid trees and fruit trees. We can actually water the plants through the rain and that is called a natural way. Or we can use pail, deeper, or water sprinkler and that is called manual and if you're going to use irrigation then that is artificial we can also cultivate the soil in rows and that is called off bearing if we're going to cultivate the soil towards the base of the plant we call it healing up and of course we can apply fertilizers so that our plants will go healthy 
and we can have organic or inorganic fertilizers. At this point, we are going to put your knowledge into action. This time, you're going to have a good performance. You're going to water the plant manually and cultivate the soil with a bolo. It depends on your teacher what materials you are going to use. Rubrics, this is how we are going to rate you. Finally, we are going to give you your additional activities, also known as your homework or assignment. Here is what you're going to do. Write a paragraph about how trees are important to the community and how you can help to keep the community green. Remember, you're going to write a paragraph and a paragraph is consists of at least three sentences. And here is how your teacher will rate you. finally reach the end point of our lesson for today which is about systematic and scientific ways of caring for seedlings focusing on proper ways of watering seedlings and cultivating soil this has been teacher jackie of v class tv saying bye bye and god bless <laughs>